This is your spiritual connection, ourplanetlife.org, broadcasting from Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Welcome to DFW Business Hour on ourplanetlive.org. We thank you for joining us. I'm Art Garcia, your host, and today we have Greg Dodd, Seniors Helping Seniors. Uh, Greg, welcome to DFW Business Hour. Thank you so much. It's good to be here. Well, we have a lot of information today on uh, Seniors Helping Seniors. I was going to ask you, well, one of the things I wanted to say is that Northwest Dallas Franchise Owners for Seniors Helping Seniors, Greg and Katie Dodd, have a passion for serving others. I like that very much. We do, too. It's a big part of our business. It's what we do. How is Miss Katie? She is doing very well. She's uh, doing very well. Great. Uh, I have a question for you. Uh, what is the Seniors Helping Seniors Service model? We provide in-home help for seniors by seniors. Mm. All of our in-home helpers are seniors themselves. So it's a beautiful way to get very dependable, compatible help from very active and healthy and friendly seniors themselves. How old do you have to be to qualify for this type of service? We, we roughly define seniors as 50 years old and mm. up. I guess I qualify. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, why do you think it has been so successful across the, the country? Well, the concept of seniors helping seniors is just intrinsically attractive mm -hmm. to people who are looking for the broad types of in-home help that we provide. Mm -hmm. And it's very attractive for the, the family members of our clients because it's just the kind of people you'd say, well, yeah, I'd, I'd like to have those kind of people help me. Um, so, uh, so Seniors Helping Seniors is across the nation, not That's just right. in Dallas-Fort Worth. That's right. We're part of a nationwide franchise network that was started in 1998 mm -hmm. in Pennsylvania and has grown to over 200 franchises across the country and continues to grow every month. Why did you and your wife go into the senior services uh, business? We had always wanted to have a business of our own and the a few years ago the timing was right for a number of reasons and this is the type of business the type of service that we knew we could take great pride in we had experience in through our own family experiences both on my side and, and on Katie's side and uh, the, the demand is is there and is only growing every day yeah uh, what makes your services unique from the risk because I know there's a lot of uh these type of services, but why, why, what makes yours stand out the most? Our business model, seniors helping seniors. Uh, we say, of course, there are a lot of companies that do what we do, mm -hmm. Art, but how we do it is what makes us unique, and it's that all of our helpers are seniors themselves. What ty uh, type of uh, services do you provide for the seniors? Uh, very broad range of services, everything from uh, companionship to light housekeeping, transportation, mm -hmm. uh, meal preparation, help with daily activities, activities of daily living, mm -hmm. uh, assistance with bathing, dressing, grooming, toileting, feeding, uh, medication reminders, assistance with self-administered medication. So it's a very, very broad range and the needs of each client are really are unique also. I see. Um, also, uh, are your helpers, uh, are they certified uh, in any way or how? Our, our agency is licensed by the state of Texas, the Department of Aging and Disability Services, mm -hmm. and all of our people are carefully selected through telephone interview, mm -hmm. two in-person interviews, complete background checks, driving record checks, and uh, personal reference checks. So they're people that we know have helped other seniors, either in their family or through their church or in their neighborhood, and they want to do this to be active, to be helpful, to be involved, uh, to be productive, mm -hmm. and it is a, a paid part-time position for them, so it's, it's not unusual to get a phone call from someone who's interested, oh, I might like to do this, I might like to help, mm -hmm. and we'll talk for a while, and sounds like a really good person, and they won't have said, have said anything about getting paid. Yeah. So if we're going to move to the first in-person interview stage, I want to, at the end of the phone call, make it clear to them that this is a paid part-time position. Mm -hmm. And it's not unusual for there to be some type of response like, 
oh, I, I could get paid to do this? That's, mm. that's pretty neat. I, yeah, let's, let's talk some more. <laughs> so that right now tells you that that person is really interested in, in doing this kind of work just by, by that. Exactly. And those are the kind of people we have. And mm -hmm. back to one of your earlier questions, that's why it's so attractive to our clients and the families of our clients. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's people that just are happy to be there, happy to be helping. And, and it's the kind of people that uh, we would want to help us when we get to a point where we want to be independent, stay in our own home or in the home of our family member. Uh, but just can't get, can't do it entirely on our own anymore. Our people, our providers, as we call our in-home helpers, are the kind of people that, that most people want mm -hmm. to give them that help in those circumstances. How would <coughs> someone contact seniors, helping seniors, for, <coughs> for more information? The, the typical ways. We have a website. There's a uh, t telephone number, uh, email, mm -hmm. and uh, happy to speak with people through any of those or uh, um, in-person referrals. We, we get a lot of personal referrals from existing clients, um, people who work with seniors in their business that know their clients need the help that we provide. I was noticing that you also have a Facebook page where people can go in there and also mm -hmm. see sure. what the services are. I was, I was researching your website the other day and I saw the, the neat stuff that you have to, to, pro, uh, that you have to provide for, for seniors. It's a broad range of services and we try to develop a network. We have developed a good network of other resources, some of which are linked on our website. And uh, because a lot of times we'll get calls from a family member or a mm -hmm. senior themselves who's looking for help and we'll be able to provide a good part of what they need, mm -hmm. but, but quite often there's other services that they mention in telling me what they're looking for and uh, we try to have good contacts, good references to send them to other people or suggest that they call other companies to meet their other needs and, and help them in a, in a broader way uh, in, in that manner. We were talking earlier about how people feel more comfortable contacting seniors, helping seniors, instead of asking a family member because they might mm -hmm. think it's like a burden. That's true. A lot of times we'll get calls from the senior themselves, mm -hmm. the person that we would be directly helping. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's about half of our calls. The other half of our calls are from uh, a family member who's looking to find resources, mm -hmm. possible help for a mother, father, grandmother, grandfather. And a lot of times when the senior themselves calls us, they'll make comments like, you know, my son, my daughter, my grandson, granddaughter, help me a lot, but they're busy. Mm -hmm. uh, they have their own family, their own needs, their own job. And I really don't want to burden them. I don't want to have make them think that they have to do everything that I need. Mm -hmm. I, I greatly appreciate their help and they're wonderful about it, but I'd like to be able to get some of the help that I need independently on my own and, and, and make it a little easier for them and help me to feel a little more comfortable, a little more independent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, why did you choose to join the Seniors Helping Seniors uh, Franchise Network? There were several very specific and, and uh, strong reasons. Number one was the business model. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it truly is unique. Seniors helping seniors. Mm -hmm. And w when from the very beginning in 1998 to all the new franchises that are coming on line every month, that all of our helpers are seniors themselves. Now they're very active, they're very healthy, dependable. Mm -hmm. But it, it is unique for 100% of the providers in, in a business like ours to be active, healthy seniors themselves. And the other reason is we are a relatively young franchise. I mean, there's 200 across the country. The operation has been there since 1998, but it's still relatively young. So we were the first in, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, along that, that uh, note, uh, how long have you been doing this type of service? It's been a little over two years two now. Two years. And we've found that uh, the people at Seniors Helping Seniors, the people at the very mm -hmm. head of the network in, in Pennsylvania, and, and all of the other franchise partners across the country and in our local area, there's now uh, a total of four in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, mm -hmm. nine in, of the 200 are in Texas. and. The quality of the people 
they're not just looking to sell you a franchise, they're looking to select the right franchise mm -hmm. partners mm -hmm. to build their network. It's, it's really a different approach. Uh, tell us about some of your in-home helpers. I understand they are called providers. That's right. Our in-home helpers are called providers because they provide help for our clients who we call receivers because they receive our help. Mm -hmm. Our providers are typically retired or at least semi-retired. They are looking for a way to be active, a way to be <coughs> productive, a way to give back a way to help others while they still can, knowing that being seniors themselves, mm -hmm. it may not be too far distant when they may not be able to provide help for others mm -hmm. and might begin needing help themselves. So they're, they're wonderful people. Mm -hmm. They want to help. Typically, one of our taglines in Seniors Helping Seniors it's, is it's like getting a little help from a friend. And that's really what it becomes in most situations. And I guess uh, people would feel more comfortable with, 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 with those people. It, it's not unusual. Human nature, somewhat of a resistance to want to ask for help. Mm -hmm. Many times when people really understand the kind of helpers we have, a lot of that resistance goes away, or at least it goes down to the level that they say, well, yeah, we can try this. This this might work. This might be good. And then almost always, within a very short period of time, the rest of that resistance goes away when they bond and really see yeah, yeah. what a difference it makes to have somebody mm -hmm. helpful, compatible, patient, uh, understanding there to do the, the things that you need to mm -hmm. stay in your own home as, as long as you can. Also, uh Tell us about some of the people who help your clients. I understand they are called receivers. Right, our clients are called receivers. So mm -hmm. our clients uh, will range, I think currently our age range is 60 to 99 mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a very broad range of people uh, who are our clients, that is, our receivers. Mm -hmm. And each one has a, a beautiful story. Each one has unique needs. Each one is looking for different types of help and different people t with whom they can be compatible and friendly. Mm -hmm. And uh, there, it, I will regularly take uh, a shift myself to stay in touch with some of our, our receivers, to stay, uh, understand how the, the interactions are going and it's, it's always very enjoyable, very interesting, and very uh, rewarding to, to spend time one-on-one -on -one with our clients in that way. Great. Uh, I was going to ask you, do you have like certain shifts that you cover, or is it 24-7? For each client, it will be different. Different. We've had from a, a very few number of hours a month to 24-7, and um, it will be a combination of services and time schedules that these particular receiver uh, needs and wants at, at that moment. Great. Uh, who are the people who usually call you about your services? Uh, it's about half and half, like I mentioned a minute ago. It's about half of our calls are from the actual client, the, the, the senior who would be receiving our help. The other approximate half of our contacts are from family members. Mm -hmm. Dad is to a point where he wants to stay in his house, but he knows and we all know that he needs more help than yes. he's been able to get mm -hmm. from us or that we're able to provide or we live out of state or out of town and we come in as often as we can, but we need somebody there. Dad wants somebody there to help. He wants to be active. He just uh, can't can't do everything on his own anymore. And, and uh, so it, it's about half and half from the, the receiver themselves or from family members who are looking to get help for, or learning to get options for mm -hmm. their family member and present those options, help them to research those options, meet with one or two of those options to help them make the decision as to what would be right for them at that point. Great, uh, once again, uh, if people want need to get a hold of you, do they have a number they can call? Or? Our number is, is on our website, all our brochures, 214. 478-4198 and we'd be happy to speak with you. 
I get a lot of calls from people who are saying, I may need some help in the future. I'm just trying to get an idea. Very happy to have those discussions. It's not unusual to have those discussions. And then one, two, three, four months later, I get a call back and says, well, we talked a while back and I mm -hmm. think I'm, I, I'm ready now. And what you told me made a lot of sense and sounded like what I'm looking for. It's not unusual to get calls. I cut your ad out of the newspaper a mm -hmm. year ago, or I picked up your brochure, or somebody gave me your business card a, a year ago, and I kept it because it sounded really good, and I knew I might need this kind of help, and now I think I do. So it calls from a lot of different places, a lot of different ways. Do you go out and meet these uh, people, your future clients, or? or we, meet, we meet with each one in person, uh, in their home, mm -hmm. or in where, where they're living because it's, it's a very personal service. We want to know them and their needs, their abilities, their disabilities, to be able to match up the right helper, the right providers for them, and um, to be sure that, that we are the right service for them. Great. Uh, on a last note, do you have any uh, more information you would like to give our listeners? Well, the one thing that I would say <coughs> is to be aware of something I call the downward spiral. And this is most often when a senior is living either by themselves or is by, is by his, himself or herself uh, a lot during the day, say. When it becomes very difficult for a senior to get out and be active in socializing, running their own errands and such, they can become kind of closed in. And becoming closed in in their own home, it may be difficult for them to maintain their mm -hmm. own home mm -hmm. in, a, in, a, in a clean and safe environment. It may become difficult for them to pre prepare proper meals, to be have enough uh, proper nutrition, hydration. Mm -hmm. um, and all these things can kind of spiral downward until there's a mental uh, weakness, even a depression at times. It's not unusual. Mm -hmm. Or a physical injury yeah. or the combination of things causes uh, an illness. And too many times, that's when we get called at the bottom of that downward spiral mm -hmm. where, and, and we can help, and we are glad to help them. But we can often help much earlier in that process before that downward uh -huh. spiral occurs. And the help that we can provide will be needed less, fewer hours a week, lighter, mm -hmm. And as opposed to waiting until someone hits bottom, yeah. for lack of a better term, mm -hmm. and needs a lot of help, possibly ought not unusual for them to be in hospital, in rehab, and coming out at that point. Whereas if we can help a little bit and keep those things from deteriorating when a senior starts on that mm -hmm. path, it's much easier for that senior, it's much easier for the family, and of course it's, it's just a a better way that we can help. Yeah. Well, Greg, uh, we thank you for joining us today on DFW Business Hour. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for all that useful information. Uh, this is Art Garcia. We'll see you uh, next time. Have a great day. Thank you.